All right, so from a coaching perspective, what we often see is the shoulders, the back, the butt, and the heels all on the wall. What I want to see is more stacked position where I could draw a straight line from wrist, shoulders, um, hips, and then, of course, ideally, the heels. So that's from a coaching perspective, what I'm looking for. Um, Zach, from a PT perspective, what is the limiting factors for these athletes? So the two things that we're going to most commonly see when it's somebody's handstand position is one going to be wrist extension and not being able to get a good position there where we have a 90 degree angle at the wrist. The second is going to be their shoulder mobility overhead where they can't get their upper arm basically in line with their ear. So one drill is going to kind of knock both of those out. It's going to be like a modified downward dog. So Pamela's going to get down into a push-up position. And starting with the push-up position, she's just going to rock her entire body forward to work on stretching her wrist, then rock back as she rocks back after a couple reps of hitting the wrist. She's going to go into a downward dog position where she's really working on pulling her chest as open as she can. She's trying to get as far down that way as she can go to open the shoulders and get a little bit of thoracic spine mobility as well. It's also a great warm up before you do anything with handstand walking, handstand push-ups um, for your athletes. This is a great warm up to fit in as well.